jammed into the airport on Tuesday trying to get out ahead of the storm. And on that note, we go back to Cheetah Craft. Where is Delta right now? Okay, Delta is in the central portion of the Gulf of Mexico, and it is a continuing in a northwest direction. Tonight, it should take more of a northerly path. And then as it makes landfall, again, in the central western portion of Louisiana, this is what's going to bring us an increased rain threat tomorrow. So we begin our rain chances today, but really the rain threat increases tomorrow. This is 5 o'clock Friday afternoon as we head into our evening hours. And then once it makes landfall, all thanks to upper-level steering current, it is going to make landfall and then race off to the East Coast, leaving us dry and sunny and warm for the upcoming weekend. The latest track here, if you haven't seen from Hurricane Delta, does make landfall again from the central to western portion of the Louisiana coastline Friday evening. So we should get past about 4 o'clock and then I think somewhere between about 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. Friday. That's when we're expecting landfall. Again, once it makes landfall, it races off to the East Coast and that's going to leave us dry for Saturday and Sunday, but not so much much today or tomorrow. We are going to increase our rain chances starting today up to about a 30 max 40% chance by the afternoon. An isolated shower to an isolated thunderstorm. I think the better chance for a few heavier downpours will be tomorrow. And thankfully the pollen is bad. Okay, the pollen is at heavy levels, borderline almost extreme. 516, that's a little bit down from what we were tracking yesterday. I like to see improvements in this category, but it's still really heavy, so that ragweed is still very much an issue. Okay, across the board for our seven day forecast today, temperatures around 86, about a 30 to a 40% chance for a few showers. Winds dramatically increase tomorrow. We will be talking breezy to gusty north winds tomorrow afternoon, especially along the coast line, but even inland as well. I want you to be prepared for 25, maybe upwards of 35 mile per hour winds. So if you can clear any debris around your home, that would be probably the best idea for tomorrow. And then the 60% chance for some of those showers to an isolated thunderstorm. I think most accumulations will be less than a half an inch of rain. However, Liberty County, Chambers County, uh, your rainfall totals and maybe including Galveston County, your rainfall totals will be a little bit higher than that as well. We'll also be watching the elevated surf and then check out your weekend. 90s and sunny, so we rebound pretty quickly, and then we have a stretch next week of pretty nice conditions. I'll send it back to you. All right, just got to get through Friday there, Cheetah. Okay, your time is 4.51 on this Thursday. Coming up, a friend of Jonathan Price speaks out about his death at the hands of a police officer. What she remembers most about him.